Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Commodities Report and starting with the iShares uh, TLT here, the uh, bonds, we can see that the move down through here hasn't made a new low below wave three. The pathway for it I was sort of thinking is that it would <clears throat> continue to move down. Of course nothing is in a straight line. Uh, we can see that we've got a bit of a rally here at the moment. The only sort of caveat here really is that we're in a wave four. And we can put wave four over here, but um, wave fours can get complicated. So we could end up with some sort of A, B and C wave here. I don't know um, how that's going to play out. I need to get some more uh, information on this rally. The Normally in a corrective move, the A wave is normally up sharp, which looks like a sort of reversal. And look, it could be, but it's quite typical for the A wave to do that. So we'll just, you know, for the last uh, four odd days, it's just um, gravitated here. So we'll just uh, continue to to look at this. And, you know, it would be just normal to have some type of correction uh, before it continues down. And of course, off this old low and also the 90 um, number here, it would certainly get a bounce um, off that as well. But while this is coming down here, um, the, um, where are we with over here? Sorry. Um, so the um, treasuries are still pushing to the upside. So I've kind of lined up the treasuries here with, uh, with the US dollar. So first of all, um, we've got wave three here and an ABC for wave four. The treasuries haven't really reached their top, uh, their, their bottom over here as we just uh, looked at here. They're quite close to the bottom here of their previous low, but they haven't, they're not toying with, the, with, with it just yet, you know, but they're not far away. So they're kind of similar to a point. And it depends if you're looking at the 30s or twos or fives and so on. They're all kind of in these ones here. They're all testing this old this old high over here. Now, I could put wave five top in here because I've got one and two here, one, two, three, four here. And then and this is all the fifth wave here for the third, the fourth. And I can look at this as one, two, three, four, five up here. So I could put wave five here, but that would be a bit premature because uh, the the... Um, bonds haven't made a new low here just yet, you know, so I just don't think that they're, it would be unrealistic to think that they're finished. And also too, going back to the bonds here again as well. I mean, they, you know, they can end up way down here, you know, it's not, not a big deal. They should be down here somewhere. You know, we could take the, this distance here and put it down here and come down here somewhere. That would be normal um, in terms of Elliott structures. So yeah, I could put wave five there, but I don't think that's kind of probable. I think that we'll be further up here at the 5%. Um, and here we count one, two, three, four, five here. So I kind of got to put it as, I, I don't know if that's the top there. I haven't really pulled all this apart. There is a good case for it, um, but there could certainly be, you know, uh, a little correction here and, and one more here. But somewhere here, we're going to see uh, an ABC correction before heading up into wave three, four, and five uh, at that point to finish that off. That would be, to me, that would be my sort of, it would be a reason, you know, it's a balanced point of view, I, I would imagine. That's one way to put it, um, as balanced as one can be. Um, so something of this nature here. <coughs> so... With this situation here, then we would expect the uh, US dollar could kind of tune into this a little bit. And we have been, I have been counting up here on the US dollar. And if I just uh, look at the US dollar here, I'll just get in a little bit more data. I won't go to the daily chart and do the big picture thing again, but uh, today, but um I have been counting five waves up here for the Dixie and it's a bit of a rickety road and I may not have it right. There's, there's quite a few squiggles in here that could be counted in different ways. Yesterday we talked about um, uh, a, a top being in play and 
the market has the futures has fallen out of bed this morning uh, in Asian time. So um, we just got to kind of monitor that a little bit, see how, see see how that uh, that plays out uh, here. Um, so I'm not going to worry too much about it today, but while this, if this is going to move down, let, let's just assume for a moment that we're going to get five waves down and it comes down to here, then we're going to get a correction and then we're going to get another five waves down and then we're likely to push up at that point. That would be pretty much sort of it. And the reason I'm showing this for is because, you know, while this has been topping, we're seeing <clears throat> gold and silver get supported uh, in their play. Now, look, it is possible that we could have the top in play here. I'm not saying that, you know, that's not going to be the case. It's it's certainly possible. Um, if I go back to the, I wasn't going to, but I'll go back to the daily chart here for a moment, just really just for my own thinking here so I can see here yeah so you know i i've been looking at this with in two there's two different counts for this that sort of stick out um uh this was my original one so i'll just sort of stay with this for a moment but the, the difference is that this would just be an a wave here and a b wave here and a c wave up here otherwise in line with the with the yields we'll look at this as wave one and two here and three four and five and that will take us up to well, the 50, 60 percent retracement level for all of this. So that would be fair thinking. Now, I've counted this a little bit differently in these ones here, but don't worry about that too much. I'll better off using the intraday one. But that said, um, if that is five waves up here, and I knew that there would be this box here is just a resistance box because of that high and that high, that's all that is. Um, and that would be our sort of turning point there where it would get pushed back down and we would see how that sort of played out a little bit. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of uh, where we are. You know, is it possible to put that wave two down here? I think it is based on this A, B and C wave here. I've seen this type of pattern before and then, and then come down. So I think that's all like doable at this point. I'll just clean this up here. So uh, yeah, that's what we're left with here. Wave one or wave A or, or possibly even wave two in here. If wave two is in here, then we could say that gold <coughs> and silver has a low in place. There's a bit of a case for that. Um, but having a look at a few other gold stocks and indexes and things, which we will do today as well, um, just to get a sort of a bit more holistic sort of understanding of uh, where those markets are. But certainly if there's a top here, we're going to see further uh, rallies in, in gold and silver. But as I mentioned yesterday is that, yes, they will go up and you can trade them long, um, but is it the beginning of the trend for them and I just don't think it is but look I've been wrong many times just as many times as you know the next person um, so all we can do is you know just take it step by step um, but definitely while this is pulling back we're going to see gold and that if, even if this you know we still got to get our little first five waves here first with all of this you know um, you know it's, I don't have any I, you know, I mean, I can see that that's five waves and this is, well, it looks a bit, could be anything there really. Um, so anyway, we'll just see how that, um, how the plot thickens here with this. But while this is pulling down, we're definitely going to see, um, we're going to see, I was going to look at some other currencies then, but I won't do that because it's just going down the rabbit hole. Um, so this is, US spot gold here, we can go to the daily chart just to, you know, have a bit of a look at this. One of the interesting things here, though, I thought was quite interesting. Um, yeah, look, it makes a nice little A, B and C wave down here and it's, and it's pushing up even higher here and it's going to go up higher here still. So I don't think that this um, one, two, three, four, five is going to cut it into this space. But what I wanted to do is just have a look here. This... Um, has taken out the low here. So look, it's possible to put wave two uh, in here for this. But if you think about it, if 
if the if the US dollar and the yields are looking at um, are looking at, at just sort of logically looking at looking at, at at a wave one top, well then this could be a wave wave um, a wave one down here, two here, and then then the three, four, five over here, you know, to come down. I would only turn bullish and say that that I was wrong if I see a, a nice five wave move to the upside here. So I'm expecting three, um, but if we got five, then I would uh, then I would you know if I got support on the two thousand, you know, I mean that's a long way away. But um, if I got five waves up there, then I would be I'd have to look at the um, the bullish side. There would still be another count. I could put the B wave over here, as I mentioned yesterday, as an A and a B and a C wave here because it's not the best five waves down here. Um, so, yeah, but I was looking at the futures on COMEX and it hasn't made a new low below this one here. So I thought that was interesting. Um, let me find that charting program here and let's just have a look at that. Um, Though this is silver here for <clears throat> um, for Australia as well, so yeah, um, this one's really for Karen. So I didn't get to your email; I've just been busy. So this be like one, two. This will be a little three, four, and five pushing up here for uh, silver. But this will also this is a this is um, an this is a currency thing as well for so for the Australian dollar. We're looking at wave one up here with an A wave, a B wave, one, two, three. We're in wave four here, and that wave four is probably already done there. I haven't been tuned in for a little while. So um, we'll be looking at wave one here, wave two, three, four, five, be something like this. So, yes, yeah, silver will go up while this is going down, but then be careful about that turn, okay? That's um, the silver here, but that's not what... I wanted to look at, but I'll have to do that anyway. So sorry for being so late and not answering your email. Just being snowed under a little bit. Um, let me just flick through here to find out. Um, our COMEX, this is COMEX here, so futures. You see, it's pretty clear that this is the low here. And A waves are normally quite sharp, so that's what I'm saying, that little move up there. I'm thinking that, and we haven't made a new low down here, so I'm thinking that this is this could be just simply some little A B C pattern here that will play out, and then we'll get wave three, four, and five here. I'll just have a look at this is, um, oh, this is, um, what's the name? Um, Canadian. That's that. That's. I think I pushed two buttons at once. That's uh, sort of frozen up on me here. It's, um, I just wanted to have a look at some of these stocks. We might come back to that in a minute. Let's um, go back to that. So, yeah, so there's a good case for this as a bit of an ABC pattern uh, coming into play uh, here. Let's have a look at the intraday. So, yeah, I was looking at it as the A wave, the B wave, and uh, some sort of C wave up here, really. I think that could, I mean, I haven't really pulled, I could probably put that as wave four and wave five here. I could probably do that as well. Um, probably have to, actually, unless I sort of squeeze it out of here. So it's, it's also possible that we'll get wave A up here and then have wave B here and, and then wave C up here maybe go a little bit higher. So, yeah, as I mentioned yesterday, it can go long, but um, it's, you know, anyway, you, you understand the risk anyway. So you, are you feeling lucky? And uh, have a go. Uh, but I can't put it out as a trade, a, tra a trend trade. It just wouldn't sort of, um, it would be a bit of a desperate plea at that point. I mean, it, it looks okay as the A, the B and the C here, but the futures hasn't made that new low there. So that's, you know, that's something at that point. Um, silver um, is different. So I think, as I mentioned, I, I won't go into the bigger picture here because I did that the other day and it's basically a big sort of triangle pattern where we've got the A, the B, the C, the D and the E here. So I think there's 
further to go here. What, but what I was going to do, just to be fair, to be fair, is that I can see that this has been consolidating here. This is a daily chart, so it's been here for a while. Um, I still need to. This would be corrective, so it still needs to push higher. And then we'll have a look to see if we get a nice five wave structure here. If we get a nice five wave structure, then we'll have a look at the intraday and we'll start working the ABC correction. If we work the ABC correction and it's looking good, then we'll either go long on the B wave or after the C wave, we'll look for the first impulse wave to the upside and work it at a lower level here. And um, we'll ha have a crack at it and uh, see if we can pick up uh, a couple of small positions under the uh, $25 mark. And then we'll, if, if everything goes according to plan, then we'll add on the 25 here. But I'm thinking that we're going to be sort of squashed up into, into some ending um, pattern here that's been playing out for, you know, for, for all part of this over here. Um, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, once again, it makes a nice A, B, and C correction uh, here for this. So, but yeah, it's it's possible triangle pattern here as well. So, we just need to be a little bit patient and a bit bit careful on how we approach that. So, nothing to be sort of uh, had here. And this is copper. This is also interesting. This is high grade U.S. copper. And as I've mentioned here before, is that this pattern here. Going back to June, we're on a tick chart here, but going back to June as an A and a B and a C wave here, because we've taken this low has taken this one out here. But on the futures market, it hasn't taken the low out um, on that. So is that gold come back? Did it? Okay, we'll have a bit of a look at that. So this low here on the high grade copper has taken this low out, but in this case, it hasn't here. This move up here, I can see um, from my years of doing it, it looks still looks like one, two, three up here. This could be a wave four, so we'll see if it pushes up to give us wave five. It does look a little bit impulsive on the downside here. We'll see though, but we'll just see how that, we'll look at that on the intraday. It's hit the supply here, all these opens and closes are here. So we'll just let it go here. And if it does pop its head up here, it's just gonna be beaten back down. And then eventually that will give us a, um, a little ABC correction at that point. If it pushes up, then we'll end up with a little ABC pattern. And we'll take a closer look at that um, because that can push up at that point. So <clears throat> this is important because of the BHPs of the world. And we'll might have a look at those. We looked at them yesterday though, didn't we? So um, no need to look at them today, the Rios and the BHP. So um, also too, if we look at um, if we look at uh, this is iron ore and <clears throat> this is from the Dalian exchange out of China. And uh, we're looking at in, in a bullish fashion. So we've got wave one here and wave two over here. And then this move up here, we're looking at it as wave one. It could also be wave C as well. So we just need to be a little bit careful. And the way that we're going to do that is, um, let me just play this out here a little bit. And that can go there, that can go over there. So, and yeah, so we we're, were looking for a wave four. It's it's kind of gotten big and ugly and all the rest of it. I don't know if we need to take that spike into, into hand. I, I don't know if we're gonna get one more move down here and that's we ignore that spike or not really sure but either one way or the other but basically what we need now is we need wave five here and after this move up here that's either going to be wave one or wave c here and in both cases we're going to get some type of um move lower so it may be the um abc pattern here and uh, if that's the case, we can go long above the B wave. Of course, if we get a nice impulse wave here, we'll get another little ABC pattern here. We can build in earlier over here. And Rio and Vale tend to follow this quite closely. So where's Rio here? Just let me find Rio here. So Rio's here. Now, um, oh, that's right. We talked about this yesterday, didn't we? Um, it's dividend season for all of these things so people going in um, and buying dividends on things so they're going to have higher rallies but I just feel that 
I mean, it looks a little bit impulsive up here. I can see that, but this this is moving up rather fast. So everybody's piling in for dividends. It's a dividend trade, really. So once it pays, it goes ex dividend. I think in the first week of September. So I think <laughs> I think it will probably push up and then drop, and then that it'll be all a little bit weird, you know. But um, that's kind of what we're looking for, and that will be the same for BHP and. Um, uh, Woodside and a few of those sorts of things, even though Woodside's uh, something gas, but um, um, Rio, BHP and all that got, will, be go, will be going ex-dividend, I think, on the 7th or 8th or 9th or something of September and um, and the payouts later in that month. So, you know, so I've got this being positive. I've got it as a B wave up here, but also one here and two here. So I could, you could go in and buy and um, <clears throat> and hold through the dividend. Um, so it just depends on, you know, what your strategy is. You know the dividend rules and regulations about holding them and this and that. So um, I'll just leave that to you. But I have to wait for after the dividends here to, to play out. And it, it may play out that this actually here pushes up much further here and becomes wave one and the dividend drop will give us wave two, and then we still have to build it up from that point, you know? So it's just a, um, a timing thing. So with with uh, with Rio here, um, <clears throat> and also this particular, you know, structure here that we've got to get, um, yeah, that's the timing of events, really. So there's not much more I can add to that, but it's kind of, you know, it's a trade that's shaping up, Will it play? Will it play out? Well, that's another story too, isn't it? You know, we can only kind of look at these things and watch them unfold and and get them to a point. And <clears throat> um, half the time they they play out nicely, and half half the time they don't. That way, you know, keep the expectation <laughs> expectations low, and you won't be disappointed. Um, <clears throat> okay, over to the energy sector. So this is the XLE here, and um, uh, with the XLE here, we were looking at this being, we we're looking for a wave four in here, basically. It doesn't really give me a nice C wave in here. It looks like it's in sort of three. Oh, yeah, no, that little rally. Oh, I don't know. No, that came after that, didn't it? So, so I feel like I'm missing, um, feels like I'm missing five waves in this leg here, but um, that's sort of okay -ish a little bit, I guess. Um, <clears throat> I'll just, that's one day. Let's just go in and have a, a little look at this for a second yeah you see that there that's only sort of oh i suppose you could get it out but it's just not more like a b wave isn't it it's like a sort of i mean that's beautiful an a and a b and do we call that a c or do we look at this as some sort of a wave here and then an a and a b and a c wave up here you know getting five waves up here this would be all of one and two in here somewhere in here anyway one i'm not quite sure but this would come up here somewhere to this one and then drop back it could drop back here and then move up <clears throat> let's have a look at crude because that's basically what crude's going to be doing at that point were we on the daily chart for this probably yeah so um yeah that's not a very nice thing so we've got to kind of just put this over here for a moment just in case it gives us some sort of other move up here first and then down again and then up damn wave falls so that's all i can say <clears throat> um so but this is following crude so we're going to move that out the way and with crude here we've got two counts here so from the top here we can have wave three and we're looking for wave four here or over here we'll talk about that in a moment or we can have a wave c top in here i don't think this is the case with a wave c um i think that we're we're in the in the wave four that's kind of what i'm getting um the move down here can be counted as wave one two three four and then one two three four and five so we could view all of this as just the A wave, excuse me, and then the B wave up here, and then the C wave down down here. That's kind of what um, we just looked at with the X 
X, uh, XLE. So that's quite possible, actually. Um, I, can't, I can't put it this way. I can't rule it out. And the other thing here is that I've looked at this here and I just don't get five waves up here. I mean, I can count this down here as an A wave, a B wave, one, two, three, four, five for the C wave here. So an A, B, C here for wave A, and then a B, and then the C wave here. That's all pretty dandy, but uh, so you could view it two ways. But the thing here is that I'm not getting five waves in this leg here. I'm getting three waves, an A and a B and a C wave up here. I mean, I've got a little thing in here that doesn't fit very well either. But um, apart from that, I'm still not seeing, even if I looked at this as a third wave, I can't look at that as a fourth because I've pulled back. And then also to this little move up here, <clears throat> I know big numbers skew things around a little bit, but this move up here, this would count five waves being here. And then we've got an ABC correction. And um, then we've got this little move up here that also looks in three waves. So I feel like sort of putting wave B just here, you know, <clears throat> but I can't call that wave C either. So I'm just, this is a bit messy in here. So I'm just going to wait for it. Um, yeah, I'd just be very careful about this, really. I think we get some sort of weird move up here and then down again. But I just, I don't know. I don't know. It's not, um, <clears throat> It would be different if it gave me a nice five wave structure here. I could work with that, but I'm getting three waves there. So it's not good. And if this low here gets breached, I suppose I could look at this as an A wave, wave one, and then an ABC pattern here. So I could come down here and then we could push up for three, four and five. That could work. That could work. It's probably about my best bet actually. So if I put that here, I mean, it's a little bit of a long shot too. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't place a bet on it. Do you know what I mean? If you're seeing it pushing, if, if the market, if you, if, if the market pushes up and you can see support on, on $80 here, $80 and 30 cents, right? There it is. 80, eight, eight dollars $80 and 30, because if you get a, little classic trading levels pattern at 30 then then uh, use that to to go long on so a classic trading levels pattern on 80 30 that would be a little group one in there that could do the trick to get you going um, but I, I don't see a trend in it we can keep an eye on it you know um, maybe this looks a bit different on another platform. I'll just, I'll double check. I'll just have a bit of a look around, but definitely something wrong here with this. Okay, so that's, <clears throat> yeah, so anyway, at least at least I haven't got anybody into trouble here. Um, so that's one thing. So we'll just continue to chill on that. And this is natural gas. So with natural gas, I uh, won't go into the bigger picture, but basically we were looking at, um, well, we were looking down here, weren't we? We were wondering to see if we get an A and a B and a C wave. So we waited and then we got this move up here that looked good, but only gave us three waves and then came down. So then we ended up with one, two, three, four, five. Once we had five waves down here, we're looking for an ABC correction. So we've got a nice A wave here, then the B wave. And then it's pushed off here really quite smartly and gave us a little gap and everything. But, um, there's our five waves. So we've got our A and our B and our C wave here for wave B or wave two at this point. The only other thing that I could say here is that I could look at this here as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave down to here. So that would be a three wave. So we could view this as wave one and two and one and two. I don't think that's the case because we can count five waves down here. But if I was going to go short, I want to know what the long trade is. So that would be it at this point. So what we, one, two, three, four, five. So really we need a bit of an ABC rally here. I think that we could also look at that. Definitely five waves. So we've got one, two, three, four, probably five. I think we've got our five waves here, three, four, five, maybe. So um, if if we get a little rally here again, we're just looking for the short trade. So that means that we can, if that's five waves, 
if you could double check that oh, I might have another little look in a moment um, so that'd be one two that would be wave three here and that's four all of this would have to be one two three four five for, for all of that so that's probably all the third here what am I missing up here one two three four five I think that's all wave one I just um, just hijack these here I think that's it there but if you could double check that would be good and what I was sort of thinking is we would look for some type of um, A wave, B wave and C wave here so we can put that up in the box what does this look like so far in here one two three four five we could go probably here i'm thinking i'm thinking one and two and three and four and five and then an a b c pattern here finding support in this space and then pushing up here for wave c i mean not a very good wave b is it but um something like that anyway if the price pushes up around the two dollar seventy area here if the price pushes up here then this low over here becomes the short trade at this point now it's not the best so we'll just keep working with that so first of all this this um sorry it's 20 there so first of all this wave c can come all the way up to this little consolidation here secondly it may not do that it may just go to the 27 20 area here because of this over here this this there's nothing in here so there's nothing to really no memory to stop it at that point there's no orders sitting in here the orders are sitting here and and here so it could just come to here and then move down now if it moves down <clears throat> it's going to come into this support here so this is likely to be five waves somewhere down in here and then give you an, an abc back again and then come down for the second bounce and then end up going through here and kicking back up here and make it a fuss and then going down again so once you understand that process at 2650 which is the lower end of group two once group two becomes the resistance here then all of this stuff up here is finished you know then it's then the direction is to is to the downside at that point so um that's what we'll be looking at the other thing here is that um it does appear to be five ways so you just check it's one two th three some sort of four in here maybe even one two i'm pretty sure that's got to be it. i think that's it as five waves so that means that we can short in the box here but it means that you wouldn't put a full trade in there i mean obviously you can get greedy and the money's in the turn and um I think I think uh, you know uh, we need to understand this structure here better to do that I don't think I will turn that green actually um, I think it's okay to short it there if you want to I would short it there based on this being an ABC pattern which is not confirmed it's only confirmed when the B wave is taken out here so that's an issue um, the second thing is is we would short it in the box because we've got five waves here so if you could go in and if you're going to short this go in there and pull it apart and check it on a you know two minute chart or tick chart or something and, and double check it um but yeah so the b wave would be the short trade from here or um as soon as you get five waves here this this abc back here again you can short it in that box you know if you can the other thing i wanted to say if you can if you can figure out that you go oh, okay pete was right for 
for once that we've got one, two, three, four, five here, and then you get this ABC back here, right? So you get this ABC back here for the B wave. It's probably a little bit bigger and uglier, but um, and then if you can count five waves up here, then you could get a small position up here. And then otherwise, I, I mean, I'd normally wait for the first five to come down and then hit hit the 61.8% retracement level. Not a big difference between here and here, you know, except this box here has got an extra layer of security because you've got five waves here. So it's not the best price, but it's a safer trade at that point, you know. So we'll just see. So at this point, we can, we'll just put it under here for the time being. And, um, but yeah, you can, in fact, we'll just put it over here, but we'll, we'll see. I think I'll, I'll lose all of this anyway. I'll all just get squashed up and be a mess and I'll forget it. But basically our short trade here is starting to play out a little bit. I just before we go, I just want to have a look at the um, gold stocks again on see if that thing has stopped here. Well, this was another one. This is um, this is Newmont, so which is ten percent of the GDX. Um, they're buying out Newcrest Mining, so they're going to have a bigger chunk of this. But I was looking at this and I thought this was sort of interesting as well is that we've got this top over it. Well, I've got a whole other thing going on here. I won't go into all of that at the moment, but um, this is a slightly different pattern, but we have um, wave one and two here, then one, two, nice strong third wave here, the fourth wave, and then the fifth wave here. Now the fifth wave may or may not be finished here. I can see there's some scope for the further downside, but we still need wave three and four here and five here. So this one here is still quite clear that it needs to come down further. So this is new one. This is one of the bigger fish uh, in the pond. Um, this one, this is the same as gold, really. We can look at this as, um, as the A, the B and the C here for this. But this could also be wave one. So all of this little move here could be could be wave one, two, three, four, five. So I could put wave two here, or we could bring it down here for that five waves. That's something that we need to, to figure out. So any long trade that you do here needs to be short term. And uh, I'll just trade it to the 61.8% mark um, and then and then move out from there. Or even the 50% is good. Gold, gold seems to work with 50% more regularly than 61.8%. Um, I'll just have a look at these. Um, yeah, it's the same sort of pattern again. So we don't know if we're going to get some sort of ABC pattern here and then down again. You know, that sort of thing. Um, this is precious metal, so it's probably got some other things in there as well because it's a bit of a weird thing. It reminds me of um, copper more so. Um, Newcrest Mining was another one. <clears throat> so the A wave, the B wave, probably look at this as one, two, three, four here, but a little bit high for the fourth. Um, yeah, I just feel that we need to come down here further, but the $25 mark of medium level here is, is playing havoc with uh, it, playing support at the moment with it. I thought this... Um, out of all of them, Northern Star here was was possible because it had given us one, two, three, four, and five up here, and then from the top here we got one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, we got yeah, three, four, five. Mm. Yeah, not so good. I have to wait for it to top. I mean, the guy that started this company, he sold it and moved on to, to Lithium, didn't he? I can't remember his name. Nice guy. Um, anyway, I'll leave it all at that for the time being. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.